god, the amount of flags being set up by ours. I mean, immediately when the st episode started, our father was already, like, dying. But we know, because of episode 1 interesting, that our father's gonna die. But it's like, damn, it's already happening, huh? A new girl has shown up, and she is basically gonna be ours' wife, and she is so smart. She's just so intellectually superior to everybody. She just has this innate talent to be able to read people and be able to kind of make the best out of it, right? Whatever she says, she can make it into her own advantage. She's amazing like that. Um, beyond that, I think it's just more flags being set up because eventually, you know, our dad's going to die and then something is going to happen and there's going to be this huge, you know, um, chaotic... Um, uh, not really war. There is like a succession war happening near our domain, but I'm sure we'll figure out how to save everyone. Let's begin today's reaction. Bald! He's dead! Motherfucker, last episode at the end, he's like, oh, I'm getting all fine now, Cap! Well, for the story to progress, this needs to happen. Because so far, this has been, you know, intro recap. Arcantas. Uh oh. Uh oh, run! Run, Heka! That's an assassin! <laughs> this is the worst fucking palace. <laughs> this dude just shows up alone? Where, where is everybody? Bro just sits here on the throne by himself? Does he not have a fucking room? What the fuck? And then the guards show up! Where the fuck were you before, dude? Holy shit. So think about him just jumping out the window like this is not such a cool way to, you know, exit. That wasn't even an escape! He dead! He he's dead! D to like avoid the torture scene and for interrogation. To keep the secret. So did he just kill himself intentionally? Yeah? Wouldn't it be hilarious if he was trying to escape, but then he had such a shitty fall that he just died? The face of a warrior. Ours? That's the guy that died in the intro scene, yeah? Succession war. It's funny how we're consulting a Nine-year-old kid, but what's gonna happen in the future? I think that the one that's supposed to be the crown prince is not competent, and then the younger brother is the competent one, and it has the rally of the people or something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Will ours go on his behalf? Nah, you're too sick, father. It's gotta be the most simplest sickness back in the day, huh? Probably has like fucking syphilis or something. I would go. And then this is our wife to be? I feel that I feel bad for the dad, but like for the plot, for the store, for that's a, that's a lot of plot on display right now. How old is she right now? I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. She's she's in college to me. But you know, it's it's we <laughs> we need the dad to die for the story to progress. Cause so far it's just been intro and gathering all the different, you know, starting characters, right? The Pokemon has been assembled. Now we need to actually go out. I'm sorry, Dad, you gonna die for, for the actual plot. We gotta do it. Wonder how much bigger Ars is gonna get. Is he gonna remain like a kid? Hmm. That's one hell of a hair cut, bro. <laughs> what is that? What is that haircut? I'm sorry, what the fuck is his hairstyle? <laughs> what the f I feel like a piece here got cut off. But if this hairstyle was to be symmetrical, it would look even stupider, bro. He just... just what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Whatever. The Lady of Flames. She's like super popular, right? Yeah. The Reaper? The Shinigami? That's gotta be racist. The, 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 the Reaper, the Shinigami? Nah, that has 100% racially charged for whatever reaches racist. Nah, wait. No shot. Yes, because they think Markajin is probably you know, dangerous, dude. That was uh, quite the voice crack at the end. Menasu Renard. Okay. 
Yeah, he's pretty much dead. Yeah, he's pretty good, right? He's, I mean, it's not like exceptional, but he's pretty well-rounded. Jack of all trades. Yeah, doesn't specialize, but well-rounded. They try to post them? They... He tried to post in front of ours! I'm glad that Charlotte and Ritz were loyal enough to not get posted in front of their master. Baldi and uh, the left one looks pretty annoying. Okay. That's not very welcoming. Maybe I don't take a kid seriously. Wait, maybe I'm wrong about Baldi? Oh, I don't remember him. Was he in the first early episodes? <laughs> cookie and relax. This guy just looks pissed on our left. What? What is that aura, bro? Well, they stood up for this guy. They stood up for this dude. Must be someone who's super important. He's the guy that summoned us, yeah? Master of Kanare. What's his stats? It's... Honestly, pretty trash. Right? Like, there's no S. He, 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 I mean, Builder doesn't even have anything here. This is pretty trash. Am I underestimating him? I mean, the top, like, leadership prowess, sure. But, like, the other, you know... The numbers are pretty high for everybody, right? But, like, this shit on the left and right... Mm. District headsman is... Doesn't really need to be cracked, right? Yeah, no, nothing flashy, right? It's I guess it's balance. It's just B student. Interesting. So both are pretty average, but they balance out all the weak spots that they have. Okay. Maybe I've been too spoiled of all these different S rank units. And whenever I see B or C, I think trash. Okay. Elder son is what they're going to side with. The crown prince. But the younger prince is more deserving, right? He's like more competent? That was a quick meeting. We need to kind of be on the same page, right? And we're going to be supporting the first prince, but... Mr. Lumiere, genuinely good person. Well, how old is he now? If we add his current age and his isekai, sorry, pre-isekai age. This guy, why is he so pissed, bro? What's up with you? You look like a ham. Oh! This is Lisha's bad ah, shit. Well, it's gonna be your father-in-law pretty soon. Fuck, he's... I was gonna shit on him. I thought that he's a, you know, a no piece of shit, but he's Lisha's dad? How? How could someone as perfect as Lisha have a father like you? Maybe I'm jumping the gun. I don't really know anything about him. Maybe he's a good person. I was just judging him based off the... Evil eye he was giving to this little kid, but it's he maybe he's like a daughter con, right? Maybe he's like, Oh my my little Alicia said that she's gonna marry me and when he when she grows up, you know, how dare you are is take my daughter from me. That kind of deal. What is this? And you're right, we haven't seen the wife yet. I have very high expectations for the wife. Distraught Dissatisfied <laughs> Or are we not returning her letters? What is it? Okay. Because in the intro scene, there was a scene where Licia, she had like a huge stack of letters, right? So Ars has been too busy and been ghosting Licia, basically. <laughs> and then Licia was like, Daddy, my boyfriend's not returning my text. <laughs> and then he got angry and said, you know what? At the next meeting, I'll go fucking tell that kid for you, Licia. How dare you fucking leave my daughter on red and not even responding to her text. You could have at least had the red receipts off. <laughs> 
ちょうど父上が倒れたり、総督が殺されたりで。L father he just ignored her. Well, didn't she say last episode that her being exposed to all these shitty nobles and their schemes is what allowed her to get such a good grasp on what, how she reads like human desires and like motivations and basically can't game around it. Don't worry, your daughter has become a crazy mind reading sociopath. Also, reminder that ours is 11 years old. You're a grown ass man, beef with an 11 year old. Okay, he's a good person. He's a good dad. He's a good dad now. Didn't know that ours is ghosting Leisha. Makes sense. That's a crazy jacket. Nah, I want to see the mom though. I thought dad knew. <laughs> Sorry for ignoring you. So, so you know how like uh, you text like a girl and like sometimes she'll like leave you on red for a while and then respond to you like a day after. But then like it's like this weird. It's this game of love where you're trying to see who is more desperate for the other. So if you reply to a text immediately after a girl ignores you for like a day, kind of shows that you're down bad and the power is obviously on her side. So if Ares ignores Leisha for weeks on end and then Leisha gets the letter, do you think that she's going to reply immediately? <laughs> or do you think she's going to be like, no, I'm going to fucking wait an entire fucking month. <laughs> Elites is probably training outside, yeah? Ours himself is not very good at fighting, right? I don't expect him to be on the front lines at all. But if ours can do a little bit of, you know, fighting for himself, that'd be good, yeah? But I thought the whole point was to have people around that could do these jobs so you could do more high-level decision-making roles. But now we're going to be focusing on a little bit more of ours so that he can be at least doing some of these things by himself. He cannot scan himself, that's one of the limits of his powers. Firm leadership, do you have that? Do you got the leadership? Oh shit, we're going in. Oh shit, we're going in already? We need to get in there and hold them off. Then we're actually going to war, man. This is getting hype. Is he ready though? Because all these ha doubts and hesitation. Reeds will carry. The Shinigami of Lamberg. Hmm? Father! Wait! Are you sure, Dad? I think this is gonna be... Like, like, like in episode 1 where we saw the... Like the death ceremony for our father. It's probably gonna be the events after this little battle, right? I expected that to go in. Something bad happens because he's sick and he dies, unfortunately, and then we'll be basically be where we are in episode one intro. Leaving 
確かに私は弱いですが勝利してみせますそういう問題ではないあるすよ He hasn't seen death yet? What? This has to be the resolve to kill. Wait, are we able to do an execution? Ours, if you can kill this prisoner, then what? It proves that you are ready? Oh, fuck. Who's going to do it? Ours just watches? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit too fucked up. So the expectation is... You need to watch the execution. And if you can do it without losing composure, meaning you don't look away, you stare down, then you are, you have the face of a warrior. I thought the dad was willing to be like, ours, execute this man. <laughs> and then it proves to me that you have the face of a warrior. <laughs> I think that would have been funnier. Imagine like this little tiny 11 year old kid having to kill a fucking prisoner in order to prove to dad that he can go to war. <laughs> Yep. I'm not even asking you to kill either. He's asking you to just look. I think just to kind of give us more reasons why we shouldn't feel bad for executing this prisoner. Composure! Composure! I heard the head fall! Composure! You're losing your composure, aren't you? He looked away. He looked away. He looked away. He looked away. This is the moment that the dad realized you don't have the face of a warrior. And it's raining. <laughs> I don't expect an 11 year old kid to be cool with this. I couldn't see that shit in plain. Like, like, it's easy for me to say. Like, imagine if I saw that shit. I'd probably do the same shit too. Honestly, that execution scene, I think, would have been more like. Not, maybe the cooler isn't the right word, but I, I expected, like, the lore to execute. Like, I think in, like, Game of Thrones, the lord, like, He's the one that like executes in like the first episode or something. There's like a huge like message of like it's like the duty of like the Lord to basically take and give life or some shit. And maybe this will serve as a huge regret as we know that the dad will die. Maybe this is the war that the dad will die. And if ours had the resolve to kill, then he perhaps could have prevented the dad's death or at least, you know, didn't accelerate it. So this is going to probably weigh on him even more. So I am imagining that he'll have the face of a warrior when, like the intro scene. Remember when we're basically um, having like a ceremony for dad? That's probably the beginning of the face of death for ours, right? Sorry, face of a warrior. Is ours not even like coming with? Is he staying home? Damn. Shit got real today, huh? <laughs> Just getting too real. Even if he's an isekai character. Today's episode was basically... Shit got real. Shit got real real. Now the meeting and stuff is basically to set up the stages for war, but it's already happening and we need to go out. And the whole thing about why the dad's stepping in for ours is because Ours just doesn't have what it takes right now. He's a child. He's an 11 year old. Even if he's an Isekai character, he's 11 at the moment and he's never seen really death, right? So when he saw the head of this guy get chopped, he just couldn't say it, right? Bro looked away, didn't make eye contact, and then had to puke. And honestly, I'd probably do the same shit. Seeing someone die like that in front of you, Ruin, that's that is just raw. And this is going to be interesting because we know that the dad's going to die in the future, right? Which is probably going to be this upcoming war. And when he does, I wonder if ours will then have the face of a warrior, just like the face of the warrior that the dad wanted to prove in this episode. He just didn't have it ready yet. But maybe after this, he will have it and he'll be able to take it much more seriously. And he'll realize what it really means to kind of be in war. Because so far, we've, we haven't really lived it, right? He has been like recruiting, we're kind of trying to get ready for it. But like, you can never really be ready for war until you've lived it yourself. So this is like a huge wake up call, this next coming arc and 
salute to the dead whenever that happens but that's it from me if you're still here if you did enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care